look at um, a topic that usually causes students a lot of headache and uh, pain, <laughs> uh, but really absolute value is a very simple concept. And if you can if you can reason your way through what I say here, then it should help a lot. So uh, I want to begin with the statement that um, the absolute value of something that's a question mark is less than maybe five. Okay, and I want to understand this statement. So uh, what I want to do is figure out what question mark could possibly be so that this statement would be true. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll illustrate this on a number line. What question mark could possibly be so that this is true? Um, so a question mark could clearly be um, zero, for example. So, uh, you know, question mark could be zero. Question mark could be 4.9, right? question mark could be negative 4.9. The absolute value of negative 4.9 is 4.9 and 4.9 is less than 5. So question mark could be negative 4.9. Question mark could be 4.99 or negative 4.99. So it could be plus or minus 4.99. In fact it could be 2.7 or negative 2.7. It could be 0 0.02 or negative 0 0.02. So the idea is if the absolute value is a number less than 5, then question mark has to be a number between negative 5 and positive 5. Sorry, this should not be included. It can't be 5 or negative 5 because the absolute value is less than 5. So if the absolute value is less than 5, then the thing inside, the question mark, could be anything between negative 5 and 5, but not including those numbers. Okay, so a way to describe this, um, so I'll just sort of say this is what question mark could be, the thing inside could be. A way to describe this in an inequality is to say that question mark is greater than negative 5, and it's also less than positive 5. So I'm using a three-sided inequality, uh, which I'll remind you is the same thing as this inequality, and or intersected with this inequality that means the same thing so this is an easy way to see it so that's all it is if I go back now and change this to less than or equal to 5 well all that means is that the thing inside question mark could literally equal negative 5 or positive 5 also and so I would simply adjust for that equals okay let's try another one now if the absolute value of something is bigger than 5 then clearly numbers bigger than 5 have an absolute value that's bigger than 5, right? Like 6, 7, 5.2, but the number 5 does not. The absolute value of 5 equals 5. It's not greater than 5. But there are also other numbers. Other numbers are numbers that are less than negative 5 to the left of negative 5, right? Negative 6, when you take the absolute value, gives you positive 6, and positive 6 is greater than 5. So any number over here also works. So now question mark could be here, or it could be here. So literally what I'll say is question mark, sorry, that's a 2, sorry. Question mark could be less than negative 5 according to the left side of this graph or, remember this was an and up here, this one's an or, question mark could be greater than positive 5. So you've got an or statement which results in a union if you continue. Again, if I make this equals, then these shade and these become equals, okay? Now here, absolute value of question mark is less than negative 5. Well, that clearly does not make any sense uh, because this is the left side is never going to be a negative number, so how can something that's not negative be less than negative 5? So uh, this is impossible, and so is this statement. Absolute value of question mark is less than 0. These are not possible. An absolute value can't be less than 0 or less than a negative number. Now the absolute value of question mark is less than or equal to, well it can't be less than zero, but it could be equal to zero. So the only thing that could go inside the absolute value in this case would be zero. Okay, so there's only a one number that makes this statement true. And finally, the absolute value of something is greater than or equal to zero. Well the absolute value of anything is greater than or equal to zero, so this is any number. So the question mark could be any real number, positive, negative, fraction, decimal, because when you take the absolute value, it will definitely be bigger than or equal to zero.